a 10 position grip penalty because of their new energy store. Welcome back everyone to some more F122 driver career mode. It's the Portuguese Grand Prix time which is of course the penultimate Grand Prix of the season. Now we got today's episode and then on Monday we've got the Brazilian Grand Prix which is a sprint race weekend to round things out and complete the F122 game mode of driver career mode and then we'll move on the next day to f123 because it is gonna release on the 13th of june so hopefully i'll get that video up as soon as i'm finished recording and as soon as the game uploads so yeah be excited for that so like and subscribe down below to be prepared for f123 content but right now we are very close to mclaren with the constructors if we get a decent result today and a decent result at the brazilian grand prix we could clinch the constructor standings for ferrari but of course it requires a lot of good work from us a good work from the team and clinical driving essentially we are very low on clean engine components or fresh engine components so yeah it's not looking too great but the car is fast i have noticed that the car is quite rapid so Maybe we'll take a grip penalty today. We'll see though. But yeah, time for Portimao. What a track this is. Quite enjoy this one. So let's see how well we perform here in the Portuguese Grand Prix. Welcome to qualifying at the Portuguese Grand Prix. Now, I did take a new energy store. Uh, it's at 43%, so I thought, you know what, I'll take a penalty for it. And yeah, we're going to take a, I think it's a 5 grid position penalty for a new energy store. Might be 10, we'll see. But it's time to head out there. Uh, track is clear. It's going to be dry, so I'm feeling confident about my chances of making it to Q3. So let's put this car back on pole. Let's see if we can do it. My first banker lab, let's see. Feeling good about this. Oh dear. Here we go. DRS open. Pole position, let's go. 115.8, that's what we'd love to see. And there we go, P3 by the end of the session. I take a 10 position grip penalty because of their new energy store, but it's looking promising. I want that pole position so that I can start P10 uh, at least. So let's see, uh, Latifi, Stroll, Magnuson, Tictum, and Russell are out. Moving on to Q2. Oh, can we get a slipstream of Leclerc, please? No, not much. Maybe a tiny bit. But we cross the line for P4 right now. We got two tenths to find to try and jump Alonso. Despite a bit of traffic found that time, almost three tenths found here. There we go, fastest. Let's go! 115.9. That's what we love to see. That's some pace in this car. Is that just change of one energy store and that happens? Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. Qualified in P2 on a used set of soft. So that is beautiful to see. Jan Duruvula fails to continue into Q3. Schwarzman, Drogovic, Piastri, Duruvula and Albon out. So final shootout. Let's see if we can put this car on pole. Seems likely. Let's try to improve on the next lap here. I think this is our banker Q3 on fresh softs. Not sure if it's good enough for pull right now. Oh, we do get pull. All right, nice. But I can find so much more time in this lap. There we go. There we go. That is much better. About two tenths improved on our previous lap. Pull position again solidifying our position here there we go pole position is secured after those last 115.4 is the best lab we could find and alonso is two tenths behind that electronic store really helped us out i think wow this is amazing but 
We have the upper hand going into the race. McLarens are behind us, but Gian Deruvula really needs to push out the field. So let's see if we can maximize our points and if McLaren are going to struggle today. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Welcome along then to Portimao, one of the busiest towns in the Algarve and a breathtaking destination that brings tourists from all around the world to the shores of southern Portugal. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship and with a circuit this wide, we could be in for a lot of exciting wheel-to-wheel -wheel action today. 2.9 miles of track at Portimao feature 15 turns, 9 to the right and 6 to the left. A lot going on at this track, a lot of elevation changes that will affect the driver's braking and acceleration. Keep an eye out for the DRS zone on the final straight. That'll be the setup for a lot of today's overtaking opportunities. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Fernando Alonso yesterday puts him on pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Gasly, Perez, Charles Leclerc and Joe, Sonoda, Albon, Maverick, they've taken a grid penalty, and Jehan Deruvela, Oscar Piastri, Drogovic, Robert Schwartzman and Verstappen. Russell, Tictum, Kevin Magnussen and Lance Stroll. Ocon, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. All right, someone please tell me what McLaren's engine is because my goodness, they don't take any penalties, do they? Um, but yeah, we are going to go for the medium to hard strat, drop our fuel by about two laps or so because we do have optimal fuel upgrades. And just like that, let's start this race and see if we can push up to the front. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid, with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. Alright, let's get it. Lights out. Need a good race start and a good run up the field. Lights out and away we go. Reaction time wasn't that bad. Oh my god, Albon's going left, right and center. Oh my god, what is Albon doing? Absolute maniac there. Why did they park it on the apex? I don't know. The AI doesn't know how to overtake, do they? Well, I overtook them because they just parked it on the apex there. Oh my god, diving it on the inside by Joe. Did well to keep the car intact there. Okay, P6 is good. Chasing down Leclerc. Come on. Chase is on. The first lap is always a bit precarious because the tires are never working, nor are the brakes. So I'm going to keep it calm, maintain position. Yes, Mark. That's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Let's get a nice run down the main straight. I think we may get Leclerc heading into turn one here. Doesn't really put up a defense. There we go. P5. 
Perez is now in my crosshairs. And then we got Gasly up ahead as well. Perez on the same tire compound as I am, so I'm feeling quite confident that we'll be able to get this guy. Oh, I set the fastest lap. Let's go. That is strong. I got some strong pace going in the car. Really, I think the one engine change has helped us out immensely because I'm feeling so much power in the car. Oh, Paris had a poor exit. I think I can capitalize on that. Huge dive into the hairpin. Tries to cut back. Or switch back, sorry. Sorry, mate. My corner. And up to P4. Let's go. We got Gasly next. We want that DRS. Come on. All right, Gasly. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I've gone wide. I've just cut that corner massively. Why does the FIA say nothing? I don't know, but I'll take it. Here we go, we got some DRS on Norris now. Saw tire runners. What engine do they have? I really want to know. I mean, they're Mercedes engine. But my goodness, have they not taken a penalty at all this season? I'm pretty impressed. But I'm staying close, come on. I'm gonna get some DRS here. Come on, a little ERS assistance, and then we're going to get the DRS down this straight. Come on. Let's go. Oh, another fast slow. Let's go. Let's go. This is good. Same idea here. Side by side. Really flying on these mediums. As I say that, I nearly spin out there. Whew, this is good, this is good. Let's keep this pace, momentum. All right, I think it's time to cook. Time to cook, let me cook. Look at me go, look at that speed. And we got him, taking the lead. Just like that. A new engine component really makes a huge difference. It's quite surprising. Well, thank God the game is done after this. Coming in for his stop now. Game's pretty broken, I must say. Also, I was doing a track acclimatization program, and none of the optional uh, objectives, like the ones that uh, um, give you a discount, got registered despite me doing them. Man, so many glitches in this game, but of course with F123 around the corner, Codemasters EA are not going to touch anything on the F122 game anymore. For a while at least. I'm sure there's still like leave lobbies open and stuff like that, online servers and stuff. But I'm sure 100% they're focusing on release, which of course will go wrong because Murphy's Law is a thing. Everything that should go wrong will go wrong. We're probably not going to have online multiplayer lobbies anymore. F1 World is probably going to crash or something. But yeah, they're probably paying a lot of attention on that instead of this game, so... Time to migrate over to the new game soon. I'm pretty happy about it. Alright, the first pit stops are happening for the soft tires. Norris is in now for the mediums. I'm going about 9 more laps, 10, including this one. So let's see how the overcut works. I want to make sure I have a nice gap. Right now the softs are dying off real quick, so I gotta make sure I gotta make the most of this lap and the next. No sliding, thank you. Beautiful. 
Also, noticing what my teammate is, I think McLaren have this in the bag. Such a shame that they let go of Leclerc or Sainz. Real shame. But it is what it is. Single-handedly carrying Le um, Ferrari for the rest of the season. Man, the tires are really dying off. Norris is catching. I'm going to use all of my ERS to try and keep that gap there because this means that we will release P1 from the pits. I think Lando Norris and Alonso are running very worn engines as we saw what Sainz or Leclerc has done to this car. I'm assuming the same is being done to other cars. They're losing performance because the engines are dead. Engines are absolutely dead right now for all teams. So I think they're all really slowing down, which is weird. Again, 16 race weekend season breaks the game. It does break the game. But for now, box this lap. And we're moving on to the softs, which we do have two fresh sets of, I believe, because I did not use one of the softs for Q2. All I did was stay on one set of softs for Q1, Q2, use the additional soft that we get uh, we get given from the FIA for Q3, and then now I'm going to use the other soft for my final stint here. I'm going to release behind Lando Norris, apparently, so... Let's see. I can easily overtake him on the soft, so it's no big deal. Here we go. 2.5. Solid. Let's see. It's going to be close here. It might be a side-by-side -side action as we exit the pits. Oh, this is close. He just crossed the line. And he's ahead. He's ahead. 100%. I still haven't exited the pits. Okay. Three seconds up the road. Yo. I need to warm these up. Oh, they're a little cold. Darn, just about missing out on DRS here. But I'm closing in on Lando Norris within a second now. 116.0. Low fuel, fresh softs. Love to see it. Well, let's close in on Norris, please. I need that position. Oh, look at the grip. Here we go. This should be it. This should give us DRS. Got a little extra energy left, so I'm going to use it here. Oh, look at the slipstream. Oh, this is beautiful. Round the outside. See you later, mate. Thanks for playing. He won. I see a yellow flag in sector three. Yellow flag sector three. It's Dan Tictum with a retirement. No safety car, which is good. Don't need one. Okay, so Dan Tictum's there, meaning we are 19 cars running. Let's keep it up. Healthy gap to the cars behind. Let's keep pushing. Alright, blue flags for Nicholas Latifi, final lap of the race. It's been too easy. Strategy call was brilliant, pace was good. And just like that. Oh, we didn't get DRS, are you sure? I think Latifi got the DRS because it gave us position just before the detection zone. Sneaky. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT! But anyway, we're going to complete this, come across the line P1, but McLaren are going to win the Constructors with the result they have right now. Because Jan Deruvula just doesn't know how to drive. Huge mistake by Ferrari to let go of one of the prime drivers of Sainz or Leclerc. Perhaps I'm just too expensive, because I'm way too good. But whatever. My contract costs quite a bit, so that might be the reason they had to let Sainz go and then went for their next best option, which is Deruvla. But yeah, what a season it's been. We got one final race around Brazil, but 
right now it's curtains because every single championship is secured. What a season. victory today then but the championship as well what a spectacular season they've had congratulations to the whole team so natalie what do you think helped them deliver this result well when you overtake that many people i certainly hope you'd win the race their car was really effective in the slipstream today and the team will be pleased that they didn't cook the engine given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars they had a lot of confidence to push their tyres hard, especially going into the corners, which allowed for some late braking and some exciting passes. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. There you go, McLaren have secured the constructors and I secured the victory today with the fastest lap. Norris and Alonso alongside me on the podium, Perez, Leclerc, Drogovic, Verstappen, Piastri, Schwarzman and Tsunoda in the points, Alcon, Albon, Joe, Gazi, Daruvala, Stroll, Russell, Magnussen and Latifi rounding out the finishers with Tictum failing to finish the race today. So let's look at the standings then, 67 points ahead of Lando Norris have already secured this title, that's for sure, and then McLaren are now 66 points ahead. So they are uncatchable, even if we get a maximum point scoring weekend, which is 52 points. So yeah, they've secured it. Sadly, we couldn't get both hands on both trophies. We only got one. Still a good result, I think, at least for a personal result. So I'll take that for the end of F122. We got one episode left, so that'll be the grand finale. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well, so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I'll see you guys in the grand finale next time.